my name is Carmen Winter and I'm a local artist out of Red Deer, Alberta. I got a big start, I think, when I first started working commercially for restaurants. My first big project was Heritage Ranch. And that was probably about a decade ago that I started working for Heritage Ranch. And I did the geishas on um, Little Gates. That was a huge undertaking um, by the people on the project, on the committee. Once we decided on the artists, and got that process going. Um, it was a lot of, of community support and work, getting, um, getting it put together, getting the paint, getting the supplies, and uh, a lot of, of scratch drawings and sketching and pre-painting to make sure that it was gonna turn out to be something that the city could be proud of and that I could be proud of as well. Um, so I just finished um, picture of Jimi Hendrix. I'm kind of working on a, a deceased musician um, line of portraits. The, I want to make a tribute to musicians that we've lost and cherish. So Jimi Hendrix is the first. My current work in progress is David Bowie, um, which I'm working on. And I'm hoping that one will be uh, uh, one, of the, one of the feature pieces, because it's definitely the one that I enjoy most. For somebody who's just starting out, I would advise them to never, never give up. So every project comes with a new set of challenges and it's not always going to be the same, which is great, but that's also uh, something that requires you to think on your feet um, and be a, an avid problem solver. Art is not fit into a beautiful little box where there's a specific process and a specific expectation. Every client is different, every advertisement is different, every project is different. And so sometimes things go bad and and they don't always go the way you think they're going to turn out and you have to do it over and over and over again and and just keep trying because it it does work out in the end um, you just need to have the faith and keep going my name is Tyler Walling I am an illustrator and a musician in Red Deer Alberta I've been a doodler for most of my life like I've Got notes from when I was a kid. Just all the margins are filled with patterns and little designs and monsters. And that's as far as I took it for most of my adult life. I recently had a, a, bout, or a bout of depression and I couldn't find any expression. And um, drawing was the one thing that kind of pulled me out of it. When I got serious about getting myself into a healthy place, I leaned really heavily into my art. When Chronicles opened in July, we had a, an old mural on the side of the building. And I think the plan was always to replace it with some other art. And so Alex asked Michael Asana to uh, put some comic book art on the side of the building. And the canvas was a lot bigger than we thought initially. So Mike asked me to fill in the white space with some of my work, some of my doodles. And yeah, we had a lot of fun finishing it up. Yeah, for, uh, for me, it was really interesting working with paint for the first time and working on brick and just, it was a whole learning experience. I am used to working with other artists because I'm a part of the Art Alley initiative here in Red Deer. And uh, working with uh, other artists are just a uh, thing for me. It's uh, it's a blast. It's it's awesome to work with other artists. We started the Art Alley Initiative in 2015. It's all about um, beautifying um, the streets of Red Deer, the back alleys of Red Deer. For me, I I know it's ironic, but uh, you learn from your from your mistakes and. Uh, I know this is uh, this is an old saying, try and try until you succeed. But I truly believe in that. I can attest to that. But I've just kind of started breaking out into um, the art scene. Uh, I've always had a passion for art, uh, but now just starting to get my stuff out there and uh, try and get a little bit recognized. Currently, I'm a I'm a journeyman electrician. Uh, yeah, I do that minimum eight hours a day, and when I have time, I'm home drawing. 
Basically, as soon as I was able to pick up a pencil, I was doing art. My art has come with a lot of ups and downs. Um, I have done times when I've gone for years without even drawing. I'll pick up a pencil and then I'll go hard for a year and a half drawing pictures. And then next thing I know, I just, I get bored and I put the pencil down and I don't pick it up for another six, seven months. Now, um, I've really started focusing on it and, um, and doing a lot more of it and found my passion again. My girlfriend's been a huge part of that. Um, my kids found out that I can actually draw uh, and they've really been pushing me to get stuff done. Um, they've um, commissioned me to do some work for them. <laughs> I have given up a lot of things for my art. It's nothing that's been unhealthy in any way. Um, mostly sleep I give up. <laughs> it's just such a passion right now that it it doesn't bother me. I will just keep going and it it drives me to get to that next piece and to see what it'll turn out at, like in the end. The longboard is uh, it's actually kind of one of the pieces that I inspired me to get back into drawing. I decided to turn it into a canvas and uh, just got inspired by Batman and uh, turned it into a Batman piece starting from his original comic and goes all the way up to The Killing Joke. I think the next level for me would be actually finishing up my comic book and getting that out there. Um, it's a lot different style than what most comic books are, with the bright colors and flash. Um, mine's more of a film noir style comic book, um, a very narrative based um, and darker to some aspect of things. Um, so it's uh, finding time to actually sit down and work on that and not just the big pictures that I can put in Chronicles. Art is in, in any aspect of, of the form, um, whether it be literal arts or whether it be, um, well, any kind of art is, yeah, just don't give up. It's, if it's a passion, Take that passion and roll with it. My name is Doug, and uh, I make an independent comic called The Smiths. It's uh, about a supervillain family on the rise. <laughs> um, most comics that I read are about the heroes and stuff, but like I always wondered what happened to the villain in between. Like Scorpion would show up, rob a bank, and then I wouldn't see him again for 50 issues. But it was like, does he have a family? Does he have any buddies? Is he where does he spend all his money? Like, why does he constantly need to steal half a million dollars? Where does it go all the time? Like, I wanted to have a villain that, and I didn't want him to learn. I want, like, villains that stay villains because I've never really seen a comic like that. I've always wanted to make my own comics when I was a kid. I'd draw them out all the time and work on them, but I just, for some reason, never really worked on it. There's a lot of new ways now to make it. So I was just drawn one day. My, my wife was asking me about the characters and my daughter, so we just, kept adding layers and layers and then I was like well I may as well try it's other people's excitement it kind of keeps you going same with like when I'm working with the artists him and I will like throw ideas back and forth the next thing you know we're just like running with it so a lot of times like we'll just have a review session or something and kind of keeps it going exciting it's it's weird too, because like if it does get boring, you can just, it's your characters, right? So like I was saying before, you can just change the genre a little bit or just change the book a little bit. And it's a whole new book. So it's like, it's up to you. Like it only gets boring if you let it. Every week we'll post a page for free on our website. It's a little bit behind on what we print, but it's free. So they can go to ab312c.com and we have the series on there. Uh, you can also go on Comicsology, and you can read it on there. I think it's like, three dollars an issue or two dollars an issue or something and you can go to Chronicles and Red Deer. What is next for Chronicles? There is so much that could be done next. We really want to go off and venture off into comic cons where we can bring our artists into these artist alleys. Um, maybe trying to partner up with different art studios from in and around Alberta. Um, I have partnered up with another studio called Maze Studio out of Edmonton and they have a great assortment of artists, but maybe trying to see what we could do by bringing two art studios together and creating art in the level that kind of intertwines between 
conceptual, physical, and meta, I suppose. Um, what we can create with art from within art is something that I really like the concept of, because that's what I do. I, I, I pull different artists' inspirations through the comic books, and I create and conceptualize what I do here in Chronicles. Just don't think that Red Deer is a little rural town. We have so much to offer. 100,000 people in our population doesn't mean that we don't have creative types. We don't have people that are dreamers, uh, people that are capable. Um, multitude of numbers kind of works out anywhere that you kind of look at it, but don't have the misconception that a small town under a million people can create something vast and important.